Hey guys, it's Sword of the Hallows here. Today I'm reviewing my third one of the ten I will be reviewing in my new one reviewing series. Um, you can look back on my ten previous ones I reviewed or my two previous ones I've reviewed, which include Lupins and Draco Malfoys, where I describe in full detail what um, the one's cause are, um, just basic things about them. Now, let's get started, shall we? So, the box is just a um, grey usual sticker. Now, he's got the same ribbon as Harry, red. It, this is um, grey, like his box, or silvery type of colour. Here's the certificate of authenticity. Yeah, now... Um, here's the wand itself. Now, Sirius Black's one's really nice. It's first person view. Third person view. Sirius Black was killed by Bellatrix. Um, let's see. Just put the one down for a second, because I just need to just do this. Right, so Sirius Black's wand, um, I don't know the core, I don't know the, like, material it was made out of, I think it might be elm, because that seems to be a lot of what, um, dark wizards have as their wand, but he wasn't a dark wizard, he was just in a dark house of Slytherin. Now, um, the handle is very nice, I love this because it shows his character right through the wand. You can see where he's been in Azkaban for like years and years before he escaped and he's been carving things. And um, here, this one there, that marking, that is a marking I can confirm if you go on to Sirius Black's wanted poster where he's holding his um, Azkaban number, that is um, the marking. So I figured that out by myself. I think that's pretty cool. I figured it out. Um, so that what might because um, a lot of people ask this, what is the, what does the like little markings on the Death Eaters ones mean? I think personally it means their Azkaban number, or maybe that people they've known in Azkaban, or maybe a symbol for people they've killed, or, but this isn't for Sirius's. The handle's really nice, as I've said, loads of signs for where he's been carving in Azkaban, almost going crazy. There's his Azkaban number. Well, I can't really confirm that for certain, but I think it is. Um, the shaft, you go down the shaft. It's like Trelawney's wand. It swirls all the way up into the tip, which is just a little square type of tip. Now, um, after inside of the swirls, there are little circles with dots in the middle, and then on the outside of the swirls, and the circles, there are little dots, tiny little dots. There's a small breaking point where you can tell the difference. This right here is the end of the sh um, handle and this is the beginning of the shaft. So there's a little space between the handle and the shaft. The wand is a um, very browny, grey-black colour. It sort of... Um, Reminds me of how he lived in Grimald Place and it sort of matches the Black family reputation and it looks like a Slytherin wand. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you think I... Wait, sorry, I've got one, a couple more things to say, I forgot. Um, the wand has a flat end. It's really comfy to hold in your hand. Most people wouldn't think that. I mean, I didn't even think that. It's got the little Harry Potter thing there. Also, you can see this one's been, like, for a lot of use. And it's a very old one. Maybe it was even passed down, I don't know. But thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I might make a video someday on um all of the one's cause and materials but I, I can't guarantee but i think it might be made of elm so i hope you enjoyed this video subscribe if you want you can watch the two other one reviews or you can watch the 10 other that i've made thanks for watching